hello everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to be making a senator a senator shirt for baby boy of eight to nine years old and these are the measurements that we are going to be using on the shirt cutting the shirt okay so and this is the fabric that i will be using i will be using this white fabric so if today is your first time coming across my video you are welcome please don't forget to press the subscribing button and the notification bell doing so you will be notified anytime i upload a new video a big thanks to you my whole and new subscriber may god almighty bless you if you are also a returning subscriber may god bless you thank you for coming back Thank you for supporting and sharing and liking my video. Thanks for using your time to, to watch my video. I really appreciate it. So I have fold the fabric into two. Then I will just take the chest measurement. His chest measurement is 30, 32. 32 divided by 4 is, is giving us 8 then i will be adding one and a half inch into it that gives me nine and a half i will be working on nine and a half inch now so after i i got my nine and a half inch now i will be working on the length so the length of the boy is 24 but I will be cutting out 25. Then I will mark. Then the shoulder is 13. 13 divided by 2 that gives us 6 and half but I will be cutting out 7. So the arm O I will before the end, oh, I will cut the length. I will measure two inch, two inch length and two inch width. I will also be cutting two inch. Then I will connect the both together. This is the front side of the dress. Oh, sorry for that. So now I will be taking the arm hole measurement. I will take seven inch on the arm hole measurement, but you can take six and a half. But I will be working with seven inch. Then I will just roll and connect together. Just like this now I will be taking my I will be taking off one inch out of the hand hole and connect it to the neck you can take half inch if you want but I will work on one inch now I will be taking my chest measurement First, I will measure where I wanted to put the chest, the design of the front. So I will be putting, measuring eight. Then I will rule that place and measure my chest length. So that is my chest length. Then my then I will take it down to major under under chest. If it's for adult, I will say the belly side. Before. So I will just remove half an inch on the belly side. Then I will connect it straight to down. Now, now we are going to be trimming it out. We'll cut it out now.
so now the front side is ready i will be using the front side to cut the back side so i have fold into two then i place the front side on the back side i'm going to be adding one and a half inch on the top of the dress one and a half inch i will be adding one and a half inch then i will connect together I will see connect it to the arm hole. Now I will be taking one inch for the back side, that is the neck. I will take one inch, then I will connect together. I will just connect it like this. Then we are going to cut now. So the reason why the reason of this is in human body the back side is that is, is longer than the front side. So when when after sewing is going to look like this. It's going to be staying like this. That is we have up shoulder that is coming down. I don't know if you understand my explanation. Now I will cut the front styling on the front just wash this place carefully because i'm going to be using this just as an as a design and as a landing as well in the front side so i just mark where i want my length to be is 11 then i will just place the shirt the front side on the shirt make sure it's the same uh, size make sure you get arranged and pin it down i always pin my clothes down to avoid mistake then i will just trim like this i will trim the arm hole as well Just like this this is how it looks I will do the same thing to the back side but the back side I will be taking six inch I will pin down and I will cut as well So this is the front why this is the back this is 11 why this is 6 so now we will take to the machine I will be working on the front side first now the one at, that I have cut I will just put it wrong side together Then I will stitch. I will just knot it and take away the pins, then turn it over and stitch on top. Make sure it's very well and raised while stitching, or you can iron it if you want. Now I will be folding it into two. First, I will mark my line. My chest line is eight, as I, like I said before. 
that will give me the design that I want in the front of the dress. I will just mark that eight. I will not not dig down. Then I'm going to be sewing the hand hole first to so that the same eight that I mark. I will just connect and stitch the arm hole. I will do the same thing to the other side. Then I will turn it over again. So now this is how it looks like you can top stitch or iron, but I'm going to top stitch it again. But if you like, you can iron it without top stitching, but I'm going to be top stitching it. Now you are going to fold it like this to exactly the place you marked, that eight that you marked. Just fold it like this and make sure that it's wet fold. That's why I normally use pin. After folding, I will just stitch it. I will sew it to down. I have sewn. This is the design of the front. I will fold it together pin it to cut my center line on the neck so I have marked five so I will cut it I will just open it up like this so this is the fabric that I have cut five and four Five length and four width and the other one is 13 and four width then I will just put the material back of it please wash this place carefully wash it carefully so that you can get it very easy I just have to fast forward it because the video was too long okay then I will just place it on the back side, the wrong side. Then I will stitch. Then I will fold it again like two times. Then I stitch. Just like this. I will do the same to the other side. Then I will just stitch. Just the way you fold it, just stitch it that way. Just like this. Now the front side is set. We are going to be working in the back side. The back side, you don't have to stitch it the same way you stitch the front side. You will just place the back like this like this example that i'm giving then use your hand to fold it inside like this the neck is still open the neck is not stitched so then you sew we are going to use the neck to sew the 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 the, the, the shoulder so that the shoulder will not be showing where it was stitched Just like this. Now we will remove the pin and bring the right side up. Then this is the right side. Then we will place the right side of the front side, right side to right side together, and you pin it down. Then after pinning, take the two fabric and fold it. Then the one in the front, pin it as well. Just the same major, the same way you pin the first one. Pin together. Now, 
you can sew you will just sew together sew the neck as well just look closely you will get how i sew you will just sew like this Now we have so I will remove all the pin then I bring it out. So this is our dress as you can see the way the next look. The shoulder is very close inside. Now I will top stitch around. I just top stitch it. Now I'm going to fold the cloth into two. First I will sew the ham hole. Then I will just put the two the two handhold together and pin down. Then I will stitch. I will not stitch all to the down. I will lift six to seven inches down. Then I will just stitch like this, the both side. Our dress is ready. You can take it to the iron and iron and straight everything. So for this done side, I will take one and a half and stitch. Please, if there is anything you don't understand in this dress, please put it on the comment section. Then I will get back to you. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate. God bless you. Please share this video to friends and family. Give us a thumbs up like this video subscribe if you have not yet done so thank you so much as we are going to be bringing you a very beautiful style and if you want me to sew a particular style please also leave it in the comment section i will get to you thank you and god bless you bye